Let's go. Let's go, Patowski. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance. Yes, we have received a call. Even the control knows the call. Even the control. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Oh, really? I, I thought the dugs were going to come. I, am I just wrong? Whoa, I wasn't. I didn't want this elevator. You got to go on your own one, Patelski. This is my elevator. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Yep, I guess right. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Ah, I missed them. I wanted to That's fight. That's normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. I wanted the fight, man. I don't think so. That was a little Gandhi. I wanted the fight. I wanted the fight, people. The New Testament. Circumstantial. Circumstantial, meaning it means shit. Doesn't look like anything. Doesn't look like anything. It looks like everything, Phelps. Uh, the ring? Maybe. If... No. Doesn't give me anything to go on. God damn it, Phelps. Work with me here. Stop telling me I'm messing up. Alright, look at that. Bam. What do you have to do to earn $20,000? You gotta do a lot of things, Phelps. Some things even I don't know about. Oh, yep. This. What is this? I don't know what the hell that is. Hmm. What else? What else we have? What else we have here? Gay cowboys. Presented to Mark. Gay cowboys. Isn't that amazing? like the old movie set downtown what else what else we got we got this great wall of Babylon a replica of a replica yes everything there's everything of everything there's everything of everything Phelps have we not learned that yet like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Why is this door even open? Let's open it both ways. Open it both ways. What else we got? Oh, that looks like Scarface. But that movie has not been made yet. Alright, let's talk to this girl. What up, girl? My name's David. I mean, Cole. Cole, Cole. So, um... About getting your ass beat. how that work out for you? Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. Woo. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what... Please, tell us. 
I'm just kidding. You know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Well, maybe he's a rapist. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. So uh, do you know where that dude is? Or like, or like what up? Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Either we find him or McCoy I guess do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. So who the hell's Hopgood? You can't be ringing in a name that I don't know. Well, what about that money? Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood twenty thousand dollars? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Uh, of course I'm sure. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Come on, you know. Let's not play dumb. How about the abuse of that Jessica girl? Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. You a liar. I just can't prove it. You a goddamn liar. You good. Better than the girl. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, Detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. Whoa! Wow! 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 It didn't like in a suspense moment too. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. All right, I'm call. Who we gonna call? Who we gonna call, Cole? Operator, give me dispatch. It's the same chick we call. It's the same chick with the same voice on each everything. Night Train. I have never heard of that movie. I don't even Bill know what the real one. Twelve forty-seven. Detective. I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Just a moment. I'm waiting. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks. Thank you. Let's bounce. Yo, you're gonna have to clean this up. That's not our job. Our job is to, uh, it's a fix. That's not the one I want to go in. Wow, the elevator is already here. Aren't we lucky? An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and movie producer's wife. And they're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Damn. Cole's a savage. Straight up said, nah, none of them act. Cole, is that why you're saying all the movies back then sucked? Whoa, who said that? That wasn't me. I didn't watch any movies back then. I wouldn't know. I would not know. Oh, my bad. Straight Mrs. enough. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, 
You'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McAfee. Whoa, 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 are we close? Oh, wait, where's the other thing? Uh, uh, damn it, we, we're really close. You know what? I'm gonna do this one. No, it's Hotel Bandit. I, I, I did that one before. I saw it. Some bullshit is gonna happen. I'm probably gonna die. I'm not gonna do it. Never mind. There you go. That's what I want. It's a code three. Left, coming up. It's a code three. That means other cops should go. This shouldn't be an eleven K kind of job. Straight. This should be a uh, all type of cop. Get your help. Get your ass over here. We got a nine eleven. I mean, a two eleven in progress. But no, no one wants to put in their duty. They want Cole to do it. Cole do this. Cole do that. How about Cole? No. Go straight through here. Yeah, I found it already. I don't even need your help no more. Oh uh, please! Oh look at that. That was that was pretty bad. That was really bad actually. God, this looks like a piece of shit. Who the hell would trust this? Straighten up and fly Delta right. Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Lead the way, old man. No hair. Lead the way. Alright, you got a lot of doors. You got a lot of doors going to this one big door. Boom, I opened this door because it looks more dramatic. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. Stefan. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. It's not Stefan. It's Patowski. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Uh, these ugly faces. These ugly faces have nothing to do with it. These ugly faces have nothing to do with anything uh, what else what else we got what else we got oh we got some pills up in here right here doping a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test what is wrong with these people what we got what we got here Oh, I don't want that. I already picked that up. I'm out of here. Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. You are right. It is not that way. Uh, it's probably where this door is. Uh, let me see. Oh. Oh, there's a newspaper. Let me pick up that newspaper. Cop flood streets. Cops chase war surplus contraband. Let's find out. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. 
I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> now can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> uh. So how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen, we want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Bam, just like that. Just like that. That's how quick it got done. He's like, yeah, that kid? Yeah, don't want him no more. Don't feel like he is necessary in this world. I would have took that 50 grand, but I don't know the difference. I don't know how much money he was making to begin with. Do I really want to risk it is the real question here. Do I really want to risk it is the real question. Look at these. You see the difference? So this is where you sprang from. Obviously, Cole. We, I'm sure we knew that. I thought we knew that already. But oh no, we didn't know that. But but over here. Boom! Look how fake that look. Look how fake that look. They even. Got the goddamn, not sponge, like a little dirty thing over there. They're like, yeah, let's put that. That's how alleys look like. Boom, open that door. I don't even know why the hell we got a sword. This one looks fake. Jungle drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, Mark Bishop Jessica Hamilton. Nothing what in happened it. To the film of Hamilton screen test. There was no screen test. It was just a laugh. It was a ha ha moment. Let's go talk to that fat ass piece of shit. No, oh, well, wow. there's a thing in the bathroom too. I feel not gonna have a word for that about home. That seems a little bit weird to have something in the bathroom. Yeah, let's go talk to this dude. So. How do you know Bishop? <laughs> do you ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, that's the only yeah. one I know. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. 
Wow. Just in case. It's like, yeah, David, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Yo, I like how you say we came here without a warrant, but yet you let us in here. Like, uh, you gave us permission, dude. A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Where the hell is Bishop? McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. So that's where he is? Because you really didn't answer me. So who the hell's Ballard? What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. There's a sword back there. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. So, we know you got blackmail. So what up with that? Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Look, you smile. Of the lies. I told you, I get my cut selling dirty movies. Well, there's a goddamn evidence even called blackmail. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. For what? Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Boo! Detectives, Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We can beat that. You've had your ten cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. 
I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Show smug ass face. Ah! Oh. I think they like your little pep talk, Bukowski. Oh shit! Get us out of here! Oh wow! Woo! Oh, she almost got hit. Woo! I feel did I did good, and I gotta get away now. If I do this, I can't take the shot from here, Cole. No, we're running away. We little punks. They really don't want anybody getting the bishop before they do. Look, I got you. Oh! I like how when we started, they just... What are you shooting at, Pukowski? Yeah, I missed him again. Into his wheel arches. Come on! Dude, I'm the one running away. Why should I aim for him? I like, but like, I like how when we started, just straight up. Oh my god. Stop! You're gonna... Everyone's gonna get hit by a car if you don't move. Lose those fools, Phelps. Damn, these cars are fast. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Yeah. I need to be closer, Cole! Shut up, Potowski. God damn. He messed me up. Make a move! We're sitting ducks here! Boom! Oh, shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set. Oh, they died. Roll. Stand by for further. Unit to handle code 3 identify. Oh, that's far. I did oh, not expect Christ. him to die. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. I did not expect that man to die. Where's the dude? Where's the other thing? Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Damn, Cole knows the law. Cole understands that just because, left. just because what he's doing is like really, 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 really wrong. And I say really with hesitance, I shall say. Doesn't mean you don't have the right to protect. Them. Isn't this why we have our constitutional rights? I think that's why. You don't get to choose who you get to protect. You only gotta protect. Protect and serve. That is the way of the law enforcement. But what do I know? I'm just a child. Yo, don't hit me. I'm in my going through, man. Hit me and you're all dead. Did you not see what I do to some other efforts back there? I don't play around. I don't give a fuck. I'm a cop. I'm a dirty ass cop. There's the slippery bastard now. Dude, no. put your hat back on. You God look weird. Damn it. Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. Yeah, and get your hat while you're at it. You look weird. Mark Bishop, stop. LAPD. No, I can get him. I can get him. We're trying to help you, Bishop. No, he's not. This is all a big mistake. You raped that little girl. There is proof. There's no DNA yet. But a good 30, maybe 40 years from now, we'll find out. We always find out. No, it's 1948. So that's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's 60. Oh my god, 60. You'd probably be dead. Your choice. I didn't do anything. About 60 years from now, you will probably be dead. I'm still wrong. I feel like I'm still wrong with that 60 number. I don't know where I'm getting it. Oh, it's falling. 
It is falling. Look at me. Jump, jump, jump. Jump until the control comes out. Bishop, that's enough. Let's get the hell out of here, you goddamn maniac. I like how I like I, I let myself get hit, like knowing goddamn well what's gonna happen. I should just take the gun out. Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. Jump! It's Jim Ballard! She's blackmailing me! Run! Run, Cole, run! God, that's some scary stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, because... I ain't trying to risk my life for this dude. I would not jump over all these little obstacles to try to get this man. He is not worth it in my book. Hands in the air, Bishop. Move another inch and you're dead. Uh. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. <laughs> I would have left. He, if he's giving me a chance to get out of here, man, I'm done. I'm out, pal. Peace. Detective, they're trying to kill me. Excuse me, if you can slide, that'd be Get amazing. The back the hell down. Look at that. Bring your head back out. Bring your head back out, and this camera was gonna turn off. Bad. Oh, let's go. This way. No way, I gotta pick up his gun. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Kill them for God's sake! I don't want to die! There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. Where's my hat? We have to jump. No! Oh, it's right here. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, Cole. Yeah, put your head on like a man. Excuse me, dude, you have to wait for me. What the hell? You know you're gonna die without me. Wait, let's pick up this. Jump it. Come on, it's this way. Whoo, I don't mess around. I pick God, up their gun. Everywhere. Where are they at? You have to get me out of here. Yo, shut up, dude. I'm picking up my hat. I know for a fact they won't pop out on that. I'm just waiting. Weapons on the ground now. There you go. Pick up the hat, Cole. Let's go. I saved the day. Whoa, yeah, I saved myself. I saved myself. How did I do this? There you go. I was about to say, like, come on. I learned this. I know I did. Oh, I thought that was my bad dude. I was about to kill him. I don't want to die. Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on. The cavalry's here. Dude, where's your hat? You look weird without it. This is all Ballard's fault. No. You did not get in my way. <laughs> No, he got in my way. No, please. I mean, where am I? Am I am I already down here? Am I already to the part where we show the cutscene? Yes, we are. And you have your hat on, Potowski. You learn. Potowski, you are learning. Maybe next time we should tell that dude to get out of my way. You hear me? Stay down. Uh... Oh, wow. No, I didn't get to pick up my hat. Am I going to be without my hat? Follow me. We need to get him to the car. Yes, we understand we got to get in the car, but I got to pick up my hat. Pick up the hat, Cole. You're making a big mistake. Let's go. No. Bam, he's dead. That's how it works. 
took the corner. Stay in cover. Pop out, pop, pop out, bet. This is really the best the cap has got. That is the best he got. And you know what? I'm the better. I'm better than them. They should hire me. I am ready to become a mafia man. Get him to the car. I'm coming to you from here. You're almost there. Oh, I was about to kill the cops. No, cop, don't get in my way. Don't be like the civilian we hear. Pop out. Pop your head out. Boom! Boom goes the dynamite. That is how Cole plays in this now, game. This is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Ain't that sug. Kotowski's been here longer than me and this dude ain't still up there. Come on. We all know Potowski helped me. I'm the golden boy. I'm the face of the franchise of the cop universe. Oh, he ran him over. It's obvious. The same car and everything. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. I like how Mattel's confused. He's like, why am I going? You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? Put your legs and your feet. You feel the rhythm. This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. I found the mad as shit. You like what up? You want to fight? Was my only real friend, Harley. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You that. have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Lois, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps. Who's my other dude? War hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. <laughs> who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. 
Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? Excuse me, I haven't even seen Potowski. It's like he didn't even show up. I know he came with us. I saw him with his hat. I saw his hat. Yeah, five. Reaching the apartment earlier wouldn't mean a chance to give McPhee goons what for. What? That doesn't make no sense to me. Reaching the apartment earlier would have, have meant a chance to give McBean's goons what for. That is amazing. I'm pretty sure I'll get it later. Well, we got five again. We got promoted to homicide. Let's see what's next. And then we'll probably stop because I am getting bored. It has been six months already. Six goddamn months. Oh, that means I've been with them for six months. Homicide, right? But th is that what it means? Like, what else would it mean? Six months later. Does that mean six months after traffic or six months before... Before the other thing? Take that punk-ass girl out. Tell her to stop crying. Oh, damn. Oh, no, she's still alive. No, there you go. Third hit, she's dead. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. Oh. The has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief of like Floyd got caught finally. Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. What the hell am I seeing back down? Phelps, get back up. What's wrong with you? And there you go. See, it's like the control knew. The control knew I was done. This is AG4N97 signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, f like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. This is, this is AG4N7 signing out.